Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Welcome to those of you guys that are new. This is the daily telepathy for those of you guys that identify with Twin Flame Connection. It's general, so that means it won't resonate every time. So keep that in mind, okay? Um, I do offer personal readings, so if you're interested in booking one of those with me, that information will be below the video description where it says more. You may have to click that twice, um, as well as all the decks I'm using, including mine. Uh, the links to my site and also my Etsy shop, Instagram, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff. I don't know if I said it twice, but <laughs> everything you need to know is going to be listed below the video description. Uh, please take a moment to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and, and the notification bell to get my latest videos and when I go live. So um, below the video description is all the different ways you can support the channel if you would like to. Um, so please take a look if you're new below um, the video, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get into the reading and anything else that I need to say, I guess I'll say it uh, during the video. <laughs> so again, thank you guys. I truly appreciate um, you guys. I hope you all had like a, a wonderful weekend, okay? So let's go ahead and see the general energy of the masculine at this time. This is the Muse Tarot. So we have the Four of Emotions, which is the Four of Cups. So this masculine could be feeling like he's missing out on something, okay? Maybe he rejected something, maybe he's thinking about it. So let's go ahead and see why that is here. This is the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle card. So we have the keys on a ring, so... I feel like he's thinking about a decision, okay? Because it says many options. So I feel like the masculine is in his head. He's thinking about um, options, decisions, a choice um, uh, in general. So this could be about a person or just needing to make some type of decision. All right, so let's go ahead and see where the feminine's uh, energy is. So we have the four, uh, I mean the four, <laughs> uh, the emperor, which is the number four. So the the feminine is in a masculine energy. This is about taking control. Uh, she could be taking control of her um, environment, her work. She could be a boss as well. But this is somebody that is, you know, in a in a powerful position or that's what they're wanting to do to take control of, of something or a situation. And we have, I like you, someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun, flirting one to date. So I feel like the feminine is in this energy of taking control of her love life and romance and flirting. I feel like she wants to just, you know, get out there and, you know, take control of her love life. She could also be wanting a masculine to take control and show, um, you know, this love, this flirtatious towards her. But it's very fiery energy. Some of you guys... Uh, could be an Aries or dealing with an Aries, okay? So let's go ahead now, and I'm just going to get a card for every, the present situation, um, what's influencing the present and past, recent past, um, the masculine's thoughts about the situation, um, the media future, the masculine's fears, how other people are viewing this, the hopes and the outcome here. Okay. So in the present situation with the masculine and the feminine, we have claim, make it official. Okay. Someone is wanting to make something official or they want to level up on something. Okay. So let's go ahead and see uh, what is this um, make it official uh, level up energy. And then I'm just going to pull after this in order. For these cards put down so we have hand of cards yeah there is something about being strategic and options so this definitely could be the masculine thinking about uh, options either to make something official either with you or something that he's thinking about but there is some type of option or decision that someone is thinking about taking a risk um, this masculine could also be in his head over the fact that he didn't take a risk in the past and now it's really just playing over and over in his head. Like he might have risked, you know, making the, the relationship official in some type of way. Now this could also apply to the feminine. So just take it, you know, how it uh, resonates um, is what I'm getting. So what's influencing the present 
We have pleasure, wanting your attention. So what's influencing is somebody wants attention. Somebody wants pleasure. It feels like it's the feminine to me, okay? She wants attention. You know, there's a feminine here, very attractive looking. Like she wants to be in this energy and it definitely would um, make sense with the energy I pull for the feminine there, okay? So what is this one ear attention energy? So we have the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Okay. So what I'm getting was influence in the present. I feel like someone is not getting the attention that they want. Okay. And they're just tired of it. They're ready to grow and transform uh, their life. This definitely could be the feminine. Okay. Um, and so the feminine may be feeling like there's no second chances on this. Or I don't feel like there's a second chance. I just want to, you know, go towards something that is... Um, you know, gonna grow with me and give me um, attention. Now, this also could be the masculine that is thinking that the feminine is done giving this masculine any of her um, attention. So he could be feeling that uh, because this is what's going on uh, between them. So in the past, we have Jaguar, Chaser, you're the mark. So somebody was pursuing um, this connection in the past. I don't know what happened. Maybe it changed, but um, maybe both were pursuing this. Okay. So was this chase for you or the mark so we have girl talk time with friends moving on happily single living in the moment having fun so what i'm getting here is in the um in the where am i at sorry <laughs> present influence on the past okay in the past somebody was pursuing either having some type of conversation and now this could be both. Somebody could have wanted to have a conversation, talk and all this stuff. And then another person could have been like just pursuing their options, being happily single, living in the moment, having fun. And that's where, um, what was going on. And so this could definitely cause an ending between the two of you because the masculine is like, he either was too busy thinking about his options. Maybe he risked this. He risked a chance. Maybe he's uh, thinking about that. Whatever the situation, somebody was pursuing and the other person was more interested in being single. Okay, that's that's what I'm getting. So in the recent past, we have breadcrumbs, just enough to keep you. So somebody was giving breadcrumbs. This totally makes sense with this whole message that's coming through. Somebody was not giving the other person enough. Or they felt it was enough to give you, but someone got tired of it because maybe they allowed those breadcrumbs to take place for a while and they just got tired of it. So it's this breadcrumbs just enough to keep you. So we have a date, meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan, set a date. So what I'm getting is in the recent past, Somebody was giving you breadcrumbs, like just enough to give you or keep you coming back to maybe look forward to possibly a date with them or to plan or, you know, maybe think about uh, something like that. But I feel like some of you guys too could have was dating this person that gave you the breadcrumbs and now you're like, um, you know, no longer wanting this energy or maybe this is why things came to an end is because of the lack of somebody leveling up. They they took a chance. They were too interested in, in going towards their options. Um, that's kind of what I'm give, getting um, here with this in the recent past, okay? Uh, somebody you could have been dating or they could have been dating. And so they gave you the breadcrumbs, okay? Um, and that was not, you know, okay. So the masculine's thoughts here is we have early out lunch break quickie. So his thoughts could have been like either to take it early out of this connection or that you took it early out or maybe you just wanted like, you know, a quickie, something that was quick, something that was fun. Uh, some of you guys could work together or did work together. What's this lunch break quickie energy? Yeah, heartbroken. Uh, deeply hurt, sad separation, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. <clears throat> So I feel like the masculine is thinking that you exited out of this connection because you were heart you were heartbroken over the breadcrumbs, the not you know leveling up in the situation. This masculine could also be um, heartbroken because um, he may now realize what took place. You know, like maybe he's realizing that you. You, in the past, he may have taken the early out from this, only wanted like, you know, what was quick and what was fast. 
and now he could be heartbroken over this but there is a feminine here so i do feel like the masculine thinks that you left this because you felt like um this masculine either for some you may thought that they fooled around with somebody in their workplace and so you were heartbroken over that and so you was like you exited you know from that you don't want to have anything to do with it uh, that's what I'm getting here. Okay. Because you're in this emperor energy and you, you're wanting to take control over your love life for the uh, person that is, this is resonating with. Okay. So the immediate future of this, um, situation, the masculine and the feminine, we have feed me. So it looks like somebody is going to feed their hunger, their desire and some type of way. Okay, you guys may really like strawberries, have some type of connection with watermelon. I'm getting like uh liquor vibes too, like watermelon, vodka type of energy. Um, so yeah, see this? This is the immediate future of the situation. We have twin flames, so some of you guys are dealing with a twin flame connection. So I feel like the immediate future is someone is going to feed their hunger um, with this twin flame. They might either try to balance this out. The, the the feeling for some, some are going to come into union and then some are going to come into a couple, okay? And might even compliment each other like compliments, flirtatious, uh, mark, uh, you know, messages and uh, comments to each other is kind of what I'm getting. Um, but I do feel somebody's going to feed their desire here. <laughs> I'm really uh, getting that. All right. So the masculine's fears here. So we have dance, strip tease. So the masculine could be uh, fearing that you've turned your back on on them. They also could be feeling like you may be um, just, you know, teasing this masculine or maybe you are entertaining other people. Um, so what is the strip tease energy? Yeah. So we have clock, need time, takes time, <laughs> time to heal. So I feel like the masculine is fearing that you, um, you're done with the, the, the teasing type of energy. That's what I'm getting. Like, I do, I feel like the masculine feels you've turned your back on them. Like the time is up. Like you're taught it's time to heal from this little dance. Okay. This little back and forth thing that we do. That's what I'm getting. So how other people are viewing the situation between the two of you guys, they feel like you guys are each other's candy okay they think that you guys are very cute together you guys make like a sweet couple they they feel like there's a lot of love here uh between the two of you guys is what i'm getting um i don't know who's around who or you know if this is new people work people whoever they're talking to yeah see abundance keep a positive mindset manifest exactly what you want gratitude bliss so i feel like other people view that this is something that can bring a lot of happiness to the both of you guys and that both of you should probably uh, keep a positive mindset when it comes to this or this is what happened that you guys bring out the best feature in, in each other and you bring a lot of uh, happiness and you're able to manifest exactly what you want when you guys um, are together. And then the masculine hopes in this situation, we have sexy masculine. <laughs> so... What I'm getting here is this masculine is hoping that you're, you feel still drawn to him and you still find him as a sexy masculine. Okay. I, that's kind of what I'm getting here. And then we have the snake. So competition, uh, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. All right. For some of you guys, they're hoping that you don't have another sexy masculine in your, your life and that you're going to fight that. Like you're not, that they don't have another competition. They don't have to compete with somebody and there's like not another woman or another man involved. Okay. Just take it how it resonates. <laughs> um, it's kind of what I'm getting. So the outcome of this situation, we have birthday sex. All right. So some of you guys, it could be somebody's birthday coming up, their birthday, your birthday, um, uh, if not, it, this is um, that special occasion energy or just allowing yourself to be vulnerable. But I do feel like a lot of you guys, there's a sexual energy. We got sexy masculine. We got birthday sex. We have all this pleasure wanting your attention. Some of you guys are going to get intimate. That's that's for sure. Okay. And then we have the butterfly. See, Re relationship involvement in the next phase, healing inner child growth. So I do feel like there's going to be some type of growth. 
things are going to evolve here in some type of way. Either someone is going to allow themselves to be very vulnerable or someone is just basically going to allow themselves to just, you know, get free and get naked. This is really what I'm, I'm getting. Okay. That is coming through very clearly. So let's get some messages um, that the masculine wants to say to the feminine at this time. I already shuffled these, but I'm just going to do it a couple more times. So all of my decks, you guys, this is Cupid's Desires, Love Messages. And I don't think I said this one in Cupid's Desires Oracle. So uh, as you see, some of them are um, adult. So, you know, keep that in mind <laughs> if you are interested in that. Um, and again, anything that you need to know, candles, energy kits, all that stuff, booking personal readings, all my official sites, they're going to be listed below the video description where it says more. And you may have to click that twice and all the different ways to support the channel, okay? Number one free way, hit the like button, please. <laughs> uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell. All right, so let's go ahead and get those messages now. So we have magic. There is magic in your eyes that I feel in my heart. Okay, so this connection between the two of you guys is very magical, is very passionate. There's something about the way you look at this person. I mean, they are really like, they really feel you. There's just, they feel it. Like they, you, you just like, I feel like you look through their soul and vice versa. See, moments, every moment spent with you is simply wonderful. The love I have for you is incredible. See, it's an incredible magic moments that you guys have together that you are possibly going to uh, recreate with some of you guys. Some of you guys may be going towards new people. Um, you know, some of you guys, you might have two people in your energy because I am picking that up too as well. And then we have holding back. Although I find myself very attracted to you, I'm trying not to go too far. So this person is really holding back how much they truly, truly desire you, how much passion they have for you, how much they want to take a risk, they want to level up, but they're really in their head about this, okay? They could also be thinking about the moments where they held back from you, even though they were very attracted to you, they held back. So they could be reflecting because remember we had that energy of the Four of Cups where this masculine was thinking about something. So I feel like this masculine is holding back, but is thinking about the time of the passion between the two of you guys and is contemplating whether they should, um, you know, come and, um, you know, come in and approach you, um, make that contact with you. So, yeah, I'm really getting that. So I do feel like there is somebody here. Just take it which one because you could be in the masculine energy or the feminine because we did get the feminine and the masculine energy, okay? Um, but the masculine is is definitely in his emotions. The feminine is a more fiery, passionate energy. So this definitely could be you thinking about exploring your passion, your options. And now this masculine is feeling that energy and now thinking about, okay, should I take a risk? Should I you know, try to make this official. Should I level up? You know, what should I do? I do have options. I don't know what to do. Okay. Um, I do feel like a lot of them are worried that you may be going towards uh, somebody else. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys. So if that resonated, um, you know, please let me know in the comments, please hit the like button again and everything else you need to know is listed below. Okay, so thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you. So you guys have a wonderful day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Till next time, next video, peace, love, and light.